Kia ora and welcome to the Whangarei Heads Yoga Studio. My name is Cameron Tukapua. I work as a Chinese medicine practitioner and a big part of my practice is helping people with their spiritual self-identity. So as, as I see it, we're in this time of enormous change in our world right now. And the mindfulness movement is a big leader of that change. To me, it's the mothership of a new kind of spirituality. It's a, it's a sign that, that people everywhere are recognizing the relationship between what we think and what we experience. And as basic as that sounds, it hasn't really been a part of popular culture until the last couple of years. So in 2016, Time magazine called mindfulness the new black. Like everybody's wearing it. It's a fashionable thing to do. And if we look around, we can see that's true. Like there are mindfulness programs now in schools. Young kids get to learn how to be mindful, how to sit on their mat and focus and breathe and slow their minds down, have a time out from thinking and just come into now. So the mindfulness programs are in healthcare programs now. They're in the business sector. It's fashionable to include mindfulness in, in education. So I see this as a really encouraging sign because mindfulness is nothing less than being becoming self-aware. So as we become aware of what we're thinking here and now, as we learn to pull the mind in and focus on what's right in front of us, we become aware of how we are feeling, how we are in this moment. How's our energy? And when we're aware of how we are in this moment, we're more likely to be able to sense and tune into how someone else is. So becoming mindful gives us the tools for connecting first up to ourselves and then to someone else and then to the environment. So when we're able to come into now in any environment at any time, we can read what's the right thing to do. What's the healthy response to this environment, this relationship, this communication? And then we find that we can get more into flow with ourselves and each other. So the mindfulness practices, they teach us how, what fires together, wires together. So when we think about the same thing again and again, it fires off a signal in the brain. And that signal travels down a neural highway. And if it goes there again and again and again, it's a bit like us when we're driving. Once we're driving to a certain place every day, we start to go there automatically. This is the same way the mind works. If we start thinking about something again and again and again, there's a highway that opens up in the brain that makes that thinking and the response to that thinking a pattern. So all our behaviors are patterns. The ways that we think, act, and feel are patterns. And if we want to change how we think, act, and feel, we can program in a new pattern, which is the essence of mindfulness. So a lot of my work is helping people look at who they are. You know, how to understand the relationship between where they've come from, what they've thought about as natural, normal, healthy for themselves, and how that's influencing how they show up in their world today. So using mindfulness, we can look into the nature of our lives and examine, are we living the life on the outside that's true to who we feel that we are on the inside? Because when we connect those inner and outer worlds, when we bring the truth of who we are forward and start to live that in our life outside, then we just naturally have more genuine relationships with ourselves and each other. And we can start to find our true place in the world. So being mindful is being coming aware of how full our minds can get and learning how to choose to steer the mind. Help it think the way we want it to think when we want it to think like that. I see mindfulness as the mothership of a new kind of spirituality. People everywhere are waking up to the need to be self-aware. And the more self-aware we are, the more we can care for ourselves and each other. 
So I'm excited about this time. I feel that mindfulness, yoga, all these other uh, energy healing practices, energy healing medicine, it's all a sign that, that the world is changing and that people are waking up to recognizing we create our lives. So when more people have that awareness and more people have the tools to steer and manage their mind and thinking, we can co-create a more magical life than the one we're currently in. Thank you for joining this conversation. If it inspires you in any way, please pass it on. And join us in our Nourishing Roots journey, which starts on the 10th of September. A group of us will be sharing our journeys of how we've been able to use mindfulness to look at our lives, where we've come from, and how to nourish ourselves, how to get into flow with ourselves, how to presence ourselves in life, and nourish the essence of who we are. So I hope you might join us on that journey. Kaki te ano. Have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.